Hi, in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at um, controlling MPV using the media keys on your keyboard and we're going to be doing this with a program called MPV Empress and this works with the player CT, um, CTL um, application I showed you in a previous video so first of all just to recap um, player CTL is a command line application that can basically send commands to Sort of video players or audio players on your system um, including web browsers like Firefox and Chromium that you can pause video skip to the next item in a playlist mute the audio etc and basically we installed that with sudo apt install player CTL and in a previous video I showed you how to set up the ZSH um, completions because they're not installed by default on Ubuntu and in that video I showed you how to edit your ZSH um, RC file and add an F path um, um, for custom completions. Um, but what I found is doing that actually slowed down the terminal startup time. And there's a better way to um, install this. So um, before we move on to MPV, I'm just going to cover setting up the player, um, player CTL ZSH completions. Basically, what we need to do is download um, this file so this is the file we want to do um, to download we could download in the browser you know save um, uh, save the file um, to the desktop I'm just going to show you how we do it on the command line so we'll just do wget and um, this path here and let me just switch back to the terminal okay so wget and then the path to the ZSH um, completions. So we've now got this player ctl.zsh file. Um, so let me just switch back across here. So I come across to my notes here. Basically what we need to do is first of all rename this player ctl.zsh to underscore player ctl. We'll do that. Um, copy that. So you can see uh, it's now called underscore player CTL. And the reason for this is because that's the format ZSH um, expects for its completion files. So um, I think I've actually got the notes here in Emacs as well. So what we need to do is then move this uh, underscore player.ctl file to user share ZSH vendor completions. And this is actually where... Um, applications you install will install their ZSH um, completion. So if I have a look in that folder, you'll see here we've got, um, you know, curl, um, MPV, um, and um, where's the other one I just installed, the player CTL. So I've installed it already. So basically all you need to do is move that um, to the MV player CTL to that location. And I've done that already. And then once you've done that, you would source your ZSH RC file. And now, after you've done that, when you run player CTL and then press tab, you'll get um, the auto completions showing up here. And um, if you basically do this with um, the F path is going to slow your terminal down um, to about one or two seconds, creating a um, custom folder to store your completions. So that's um, basically player CTL setup. So what I'm going to do is move on to um, the MPV Empress um, sort of uh, interface for um, getting this to work with player CTL. So this is the um, GitHub page here, so I'll just come across to that. Um, basically, there's a plugin for MPV that allows control of the player using standard media keys. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either build it yourself um, by downloading the Git repository, but if you do if you do that, if you take that route, what you're going to need to do is have all of these um, items installed. Um, but there's a quicker way. Um, and that's just to download the release. So we come across to the release tab and you can see this is the latest release 0 
and this is working with uh, Ubuntu 2004. Basically, all we need to do is download this uh, empress.so file. So you can just click on that, um, and it should say, you know, save file. So you can save file. Um, so what I'm going to do is just come across to um, my notes. Oh, hang on. So that's the web page. Oh. So we can download um, that through the browser, um, or we can use wget to download the file. So um, do the same thing, wget. A second. And we've got the empress.so file. So the next step is we need to actually create a directory um, in our MPV um, uh, config directory. So I come across here we've downloaded the thing so what we need to do is we need to create the mpv scripts directory for the empress.so file and we'll basically do that with mkdir um, dash p um, tilde forward slash dot coat config mpv dot scripts so if i just come back across to the terminal and the dash p option means Create the directory um, and any intermediate directories if they don't exist. Um, so config mpv scripts, and you can see I've already got the empress.so file in there. So that's the last step we need to do. Basically, move the empress.so file into that directory we've created. Okay, let me just do that. So we'd run that after downloading the file and creating the scripts directory. And you'll then have that um, empress.so file in the MPV scripts directory. And that's all you need to get it and um, to do to get it set up. Um, so the next thing we need to do is actually check that it's working. So the way you do that is by playing a video with MPV. And then while it's running in the terminal, you run player CTL. Um, dash L, what it's going to do is it should output in the terminal MPV, meaning that it can control the video. So what I'll do now is um, come across and um, open a video. And um, I wanted the MPV command there. So, okay. Right now, I'll pause that. Um, now, if I want player CTL dash L in the terminal, you'll see um, it's uh, printing out MPV. And if you do this normally without installing this um, plugin, you're not going to get any output and you're not going to be able to control MPV with your media keys. So, in a previous video, I showed you, um, if I just come across, so this was the, the actual site with the release. Um, this was my notes on MPV Empress. Um, this was the player CTL um, setup and ZSH completion. And the other video I did was about setting up um, the SXHKD um, keyboard daemon. And basically what that allows you to do is create a config file that will basically execute a command when you press a certain key on your keyboard. And we did that one by running sudo apt install sxhkd. Um, we created a directory and a config file and then added um, this code here, which basically maps the media keys on your keyboard to the player CTL. Um, command. So that's how we got everything set up. So I'm just going to switch back to MPV here. So you can see I can either use the player CTL um, command in the terminal to like play. Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be covering queuing or audio and video. Pause. Stop. Um, and I can also do the same thing with um, the hotkeys. So um, I've got hotkeys bound to Hi, play and pause video, it. I'm gonna be...
Um, and if you have something that's in a playlist, um, you can go to the next or previous item. I haven't actually got the stop key bound to a keyboard shortcut, um, but that's basically how you can set up um, MPV so that you can control it either from the command line using player CTL or using um, your media hotkeys. So there's only a couple of steps to get this working. Um, again, first of all, we downloaded the um, empress.so file, uh, which you can either do in the browser or you, in the terminal using wget. So just basically run that in the terminal. Um, close that. So we basically just run that in the terminal. I've already downloaded it, but it's just going to download it again. It is dot one there. Um, once we did that, we created the directory config MPV scripts. After we did that, we moved the empress.so file into that scripts directory. And finally, we opened a video with MPV. And whilst it's playing, we ran player CTL um, dash L. And then that printed out MPV in the terminal, which confirms we can then control it using player CTL. So those are the steps to um, get that set up. And um, this was uh, these are my notes, um, basically, on everything I've just covered on MPV Empress, uh, player CTL, and um, getting that set up. And also how you can get it to work with um, Firefox running inside FireJail. And then finally, how to um, install the SH, SXHKD multimedia key, um, the keyboard daemon, so we can set up the multimedia keys um, by creating a simple config file. And once you've done that, you'll basically be able to control um, your anything that's playing in either Firefox, Chromium, uh, VLC, MPV. Um, there is also a um, MPV, um, a plugin for MPD um, to enable multimedia um, keys to control MPD. But actually, I found it a bit buggy. And um, the issue with it is um, if MPD is not, it's like a thing you have to run in the background, um, MPD to MP, MP, MDRIS or whatever it's called. Uh, and you have to run it in the background. Um, and what happens is if you close MPD um, or stop playing it, it, it keeps trying to connect constantly and it can create a big log file apparently. Um, but basically setting up player CTL and um, the SH, SX HKD um, keyboard hot daemon, um, keyboard daemon will allow you to uh, use your multimedia keys with Firefox, Chromium, VLC, Spotify, and lots of other applications. And MPV Empress is the plugin you need to get this working with MPV. And um, basically, it just means that you'll then be able to control um, stuff. Uh, I think it was in the other terminal I did that, wasn't it? Um, you'll basically be able to control um, videos. Um, Hi, your keyboard. Today's video, I'm gonna. I can just press um, my keyboard um, hotkey just to, you know, be covering pause um, MPV, and it's handy because um, you don't have to. Normally, if you're interacting with um, MPV, um, there are two ways it can. You can have it. You can actually. Open MPV from the terminal, and then you'll have this um, running in the terminal and a separate window um, playing the video. In which case, you could obviously obviously interact with the terminal here. Um, but there are um, some cases where you might launch a video, for instance, from another application. Like um, I'm just going to do it from um, Newsboat here. And you can see I don't have um, the terminal. So to actually interact with this and pause and play, MPV's got to have focus. 
um, but using a keyboard um, hotkey basically means you can stay and pause that without having focus on the video. And that's basically how you can get set set up with um, MPV and MPV, um, whatever it's called, Empress, um, to control MPV um, from your keyboard using the media keys.